Risa, I'm praying for you, girl. I hope you find you a good man. I hope that this man did not ruin you for the next man. You know, don't hold the next man responsible for what this man did. But for sure, be more selective and listen, you know, a little bit more. Because after you let that girl, let me tell you, you know, the old saying, once you let somebody slide, they start skating on your ass. So that first one, that first time that he lied and you said, I'm going to let it slide, girl, you honey that was your bad decision right there we we all make bad decisions ain't nobody watching this video saying i ain't never made a bad decision because yes you have we're not all it might not have been as deep but we don't all made a bad decision here and there so you know and like i said tisa risa tisa i don't want to shorten your name you know who you are I feel like you are such a good person. Your family is God-fearing. You are God-fearing. And I don't feel like you would hurt somebody intentionally. I feel like you acted on your impulse of being hurt. So believe me when I say, I already know they're going to drag me. They, My opinion going to be the lowest opinion ever. Girls and guys, okay? Because... Everybody heard your story is like, he, uh, he did this and he said that. Yes, we were all shocked at all of the things he said. But, Risa, you went against your own ways. You said your mother taught you to not depend on the man. But if y'all had got a $700,000 house, you had a decent job. But was it a $700,000 house job? You know, and we see stars. Women, we see stars. That man act like he going to treat us right. He act like he going to, you know, do everything for us. And we see stars. Our eyes just start twinkling like, oh, God, it's here. It's my time. But everybody got these motives. Like I said, she saw stars. I don't know what Legion saw because he, you know, Legion, you a whole of the video okay let me just say that legion you are a whole different video because i <laughs> i'm just so puzzled by your actions legion if you out there answer this question if by some chance some miracle would have happened where y'all would have got the house what were you going to do to maintain the house note? The mortgage. If that BMW or Audi series, whatever she asked for, would have went through, how were you going to get 10 more jobs? You know, all these little tiny jobs, you got 13 jobs now, you can take care of all of the bills. Why didn't you just be a regular man? Just be a regular human being and say, you know, we can have goals. We can do better. We can move up. You should not. No one should stay stagnant in life. You should always strive to get more. But the lies. You working 10 jobs telling her you got one. How you going to handle that? Teresa. You needed to be a little bit more selective and listen a little bit better because the things that you were listening to and even though, you know, I'm in the same situation of if I buy a house, I don't know much about buying a house, you know, so I feel like you should have been wanting to listen because any if you buy a house together, whatever goes down, goes down for both of y'all. So we should have been sitting here discussing, can we really handle 700, even though you didn't know for sure his real finances and he showed you some bullshit on the phone. Mm -hmm. He showed you some bullshit. Because let me tell you, anybody who got a Chase bank account, no, you cannot screenshot your shit. You only got two phones. Chase don't allow it. It won't screenshot. Baby, try as you may. You'll get a message. You cannot screenshot on this app. I know because I got Chase account. But 
at the same time, those stars were so big in your eyes. This man, and, and especially anybody who haven't ever had the kind of man that's treating them in that way. Like, you know, talking about buying you a $700,000 home and an Audi and a BMW going to be in the driveway. Oh, yes. Baby, that should sound good. But is it realistic for you at this point? You got to think. Women, we have to think. A lot of times men do tell us things that we want to hear. And usually they telling you something for that one night so they can get it for that one damn night. He was looking at the long haul, baby. He was looking way out into the future. Like, let me tell her, I'm finna buy her a, a million dollar home. And even when you said, let's go down on the price, you didn't go down much. You went down to a $600 thousand dollar home so my question is were you going to be able to handle six hundred thousand dollars because if so why were you living in a rental home because if you could afford to handle six hundred thousand dollars after he left that rental home you said you had fifteen hundred dollars in your account fifteen hundred in your account because when you see he had one account that said nine thousand which that ain't nothing but one account had $9,000 in it and, the, and your eyes went big. That's not even a, a lot of money at all. So, accept your part in it too, girl. Accept that some of them lies you could have caught up and you just didn't want to. And, and you know, like I said, listen, I'm a female, so... I'm on your side, but I'm straddling the fence. I'm not on his side at all. I'm only straddling the fence because I feel like the punishment did not fit the crime. That's it. That's it. I don't feel like he deserved to be homeless. I don't think he should have been living with you. Not at all. I think you should have dissolved everything. But at the same time, some of that stuff he could have used to get himself back together. Invictus is not a $50 watch. I'm sure any pawn shop would have appraised it to say, yes, it's a real Invictus. Gave him a couple of hundred dollars. Man, you got at least enough to go to the roadside motel and get you a room and shower, shit, shave, whatever you need to do. But Tisa, you was going against a lot of your own you know, things that were taught to you. You had already said your mother told you not to do something like that. And up until this point, it seems like that's how you were living. Why did you let this man change your thought pattern? And especially within the first couple weeks or so, you had already caught him in some crap. You know, it might not have been major, but it still would have made me like, mm, side eye for real. I would have narrowed my eyes down so little. Because I'm going to look at you now. And every word you say, I'm questioning. And honestly, ain't a relationship based on trust. So when he lied to you within that first week or so or whatever it was, however long it took to get to that point. He would have been gone out of my life. It was, I don't trust you. I, I ain't finna be with you. Because I'm I'm not Inspector Gadget. I'm not finna be watching you. I don't want to smell your drawers. I don't want to do none of that shit. If I can't trust you, you can't be in my life. And that's cut and dry. Because I'm not going through all of that. I'm not Inspector Gadget. I'm not finna figure your shit out. That's not where I'm at. I was doing fine before you came along. I just wanted a companion. And you were. He had his good job. You were doing fine before he came along. So it wasn't like you needed him. You wanted him. So, girl, let me tell you, I could talk all day on this situation. And believe me, it ain't against you. But I do feel, again, that the punishment didn't fit the crime. That's it. But. Girl, I hope you find a good man. I really hope that you enjoyed your trip that everybody helped you get to. I hope it was grand. Be blessed in all you do, Tisa. It's going to get better.